Good morning. Welcome on this lovely morning to the Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary and to the Healing Minute. My name's Gary. I'll talk you through this now. We, we ask this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your body. Then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure, unconditional love balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. And Harry Edwards' prayer. May I be thankful for all the blessings I already have. Grants me relief from pain and sickness, protects me from all ills, and grant me good health in the days to come. Remove all causes of imperfection and bring your healing ministers close to me so that I may be conscious of their presence and receive guidance and inspiration. Grants me courage and fortitude to overcome all adversity. Let me be conscious of your strength in all times of need and grant me confidence to overcome my fears and not to anticipate harm. Teach me how to live rightly in your sight to do only that which is right and true. I pray that good guidance and right influencing will inspire all your peoples to be as brothers one to the other and that peace shall endure for all time. We ask now that all the people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder may receive healing for their highest good. We also request healing for their family, friends and people for whom they have requested distant healing. May they be placed in the healing light and receive that which they're allowed to receive for their highest good. I ask you to join me now in a minute silence so we can send out our own loving prayers, our own loving healing prayers to all our friends and loved ones who are unwell at this time. And as always, please remember the animal kingdom. thanks and blessings for your help here today and to our friends in spirit. This is the part of the Healing Minute where I always do a reading. This time I've picked a reading from uh, Carmen Harrow's book, Everyday Karma. And she's talking about the, the chakras. I've done chakra meditations many times myself in the past but this one is, is based to give you some sort of self-healing. I'll read it to you anyway. This is the, what she says. 
Um, focus. When you become aware of something, of anything that, that's troubling you, say it out loud or write it down. Talk about what's making you miserable or frustrated or any of the feelings you have, then focus on that part of the body, the chakra where the feeling came up. And imagine the chakra being open with positive energy flowing through it and replace any negative feelings with a feeling of happiness. We're starting at the root chakra. The root chakra is associated with the earth and is located at the base of the spine. It's oriented to self-preservation -pres and represents stability, being grounded in the physical, physical health, survival and prosperity. It controls the digestive system, especially the intestines and the kidneys. If it is blocked in any way, you will experience insecurity and lack of confidence, anxiety, constipation, problems with your teeth, problems with your spine, joint and bone problems. Then to the navel chakra. This is the chakra for self-gratification. The chakra regulates the genitals and sexual energy and is located in the abdomen, genitals and lower back. It's oriented towards self-gratification and brings a feeling of fluidity and adaptability, pleasure and sensation and a connection to others through our emotions. When energy is stuck here, we have nervousness, gallbladder infections, liver problems, migraines, lower back pain, sexual dysfunction, depression, low energy and apathy, lethargy and problems with the nervous system. Then going up to your solar plexus, the chakra for self-definition. This chakra is the seat of personality, the ego, and is located in the solar plexus. It's oriented towards self-definition. It's your center of power, purpose, vitality and self-esteem. It's also where you assimilate food. If it isn't open enough, you will experience sadness, egotism, repressed emotions, muscular tension, poor metabolism and stomach problems. Going up to the heart chakra, the chakra of self-acceptance. This is located in your heart area, in the vertebrae opposite the main artery that brings blood to your heart. It's oriented towards self-acceptance and it is where you find peace and balance, compassion, and it allows you to love deeply and have satisfying relationships. If it is blocked, you will have lung problems, breathing problems, skin problems, difficulties in receiving love, negative thinking, and a closed heart. The fifth chakra is the throat chakra. That's the chakra for self-expression. This chakra is located at the base of the neck, behind your throat, and is the center of your vocal expression and personal integrity. It's oriented towards self-expression and rules your creativity and ability to communicate. If it is blocked, you will experience communication problems, feel overwhelmed, deny responsibility, have weight problems, and frequent colds and infections. The sixth chakra, the third eye, is the chakra of self-reflection. This chakra is located at the brow, between your two eyes, near the pituitary gland. It's oriented towards self-reflection, and when it is open, you're able to merge consciousness with the subconscious. It's your center of intuition and imagination. Through the chakra, you are able to go beyond earthly goals. If it is blocked, you will experience eye and vision problems, problems with concentration, and you will be critical and judgmental. And finally, the seventh chakra, the crown of the head, the chakra of self-knowledge. This chakra is located at the top of your head near the cerebral cerebral cortex and is your center of awareness. It's the main connection between the visible world and the invisible world. It's oriented towards self-knowledge and helps bring about wisdom 
understanding and spiritual connection. If this chakra is blocked, you will experience a lack of confidence, problems with the adrenal glands, thyroid and parathyroid. After you've scanned the body, developed awareness of areas where you're blocked, continue to breathe deeply and through a prayer, ask for the negative emotions to be released. Imagine a brilliant white light surrounding each particular chakra, starting at the first chakra and moving up the body to the crown of your head. At each chakra, ask for wholeness and continued awareness. If you do this once a, once a month, you should be able to stay on top of any potential health problems. Thank you to Carmen Hara for that. Right, just continue with the walk here. through the woods. And it's really a lovely view out there of our neighbours at Brosley Farm. This, more views there. And this is the meditation glade, through here. Just gonna carry on through the woods. Just coming round here, coming out now onto the Cherry Tree Walk. That beautiful view. Stop for a minute, have a look at that.
And now behind this wall, that's the rose garden. There's so many beautiful parts here. The sanctuary is such a beautiful place. Next month, on the 2nd of September, we're having another open day. It's kind of a, a dog show. I hope you'll be able to join us for that. the marquee there we have for the stalls during our open days or any shows This gives us that lovely view as we come round of the house. Those French windows there, this is just outside the Edwards room. Yeah. You can see that wonderful view again. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Talk to you again next week. Goodbye.